on the government of national unity. We applaud the, the ANC for its strategy on, a, on an inclusive approach in forming government of national unity. This decision reflects the ANC dedication to unite and stability and progress. The ANC clique will not compromise on policies that are critical in advancing the national democratic revolution. Policies that contradict the, the principles of the NTR, such as the proposed reform of NEFSAS into a tight buzzer loan system, will not support anything that threatens that. The fight for democracy in South Africa was a long and difficult marked by many challenges and sacrifices. We will not allow any regression or the, or the implementation of policies that, that undermine the hard-won gains of democracy. While we are prepared to work with all parties, including some like the DA, our commitment is to progressive policies remain unchanged. The, NGU, the GNU must focus on issues that are critical to the youth, such as youth unemployment, higher education, crime, and drug abuse, and ensure that in inclusive economic growth, effective service delivery, and prioritize all South Africans. In addition, the advancements of the industrialization of the economy, the investment on large scale on infrastructure projects, and, and support for small businesses and black industrialists is very important on our agenda. The ANC clique is committed to working with the GNU to ensure that the voice that is needed to prioritize the youth is addressed. We will firmly oppose any policy that undermines the NTR. On the outcomes of the 2024 national and provincial elections, the ANC clique commends the people of South Africa for their participation and support. The, ANC, the, the election outcomes where the ANC received 12,698 million on the national and the regional ballots reflects a mandate to continue leading our country in accordance with the democratic South African values. This election was a testament that the ANC and, and the Jews a legacy and is trusted and is placed to address all national challenges that are advanced to share inspiration of, for better South Africa for all. The ANC Republic extends its heartfelt appreciation to the people of South Africa, especially the youth, for participating in the 2029 elections and supporting the African National Congress. We have seen an inclusive of 20 young people into parliament below the age of 35, along with the number of individuals who are between the ages of 40 to 50. This is a positive step towards ensuring that our leadership reflects the demographics of our society, where the youth from all forms of situations are given opportunity to play a policy role in their own country. The ANC Click proudly, proudly notes that out of the number I've mentioned, 14 of our national executive members are members of parliament now, with other saving in provincial legislatures, although we have not yet reached our target. These outcomes provide hope that our leadership will increasingly mirror the youth and the dynamic nature of our society. On the national government and provincial government executives, we are proud to announce that in the Eastern Cape, the provincial chairperson of the Youth League, uh, Comrade Vuyo, has been appointed as deputy speaker of the legislature. In Limpopo, the provincial chairperson of Limpopo, Comrade Tony, has been appointed as an MEC of Public Works, Roads and Infrastructure. We appreciate this vote of confidence from the Eastern Cape and Limpopo, but we are continuing to push other provinces to follow suit to follow our resolutions that all our executive, all our chairpersons must be given responsibilities in all categories of power. The ACU clique also calls upon the president to appoint young people as ministers and deputy ministers in the cabinet. On youth unemployment, the youth unemployment remains a critical issue in our country. President Ramaphosa has acknowledged that the ACU clique call for job creation strategy the management of raw materials. We firmly believe that by reducing the export of raw materials for less than 70%, will create more jobs within the processing sector, will provide meaningful employment and opportunities for the youth when we reindustrialize the economy, utilizing raw materials. On drugs, abuse and crime. We remain vigilant in our fight against drug abuse and crime. Following our march in Sujanguve, we have received promises from the police commissioner 
and the minister to address the rising issue of crime in our societies. We await the implementation of the promises and will continue to hold authorities accountable to ensure that safety and security happens in our communities. On access to higher education, while we appreciate the progress made in providing free education from primary to high school, there is still much to be done to improve access to higher education. The ANC clique advocates for the maintenance of the current NEFSAS and is opposing any move to convert it into a loan system. Instead, we call for the increase of financial support for students and improvement in the distribution of, of an improvement and in the distribution and administration of NEFSAS. Our support for youth-owned small medium enterprises. The NCU clique recognizes the critical role that the small and medium enterprises played in job creation and, grow and economic growth. We call for more support and funding for youth-led SMEs, including access to finance, mentorship programs, business development services. By empowering young entrepreneurs, we call for fostering innovation and creation of sustainable economic opportunities. The ACUT calls for an increase of budget of the NYTA. We further call for the support of all small owned businesses on mental health and well being. The mental health and well being of young people is paramount. The ACUT highlights the need for access to mental health services and support systems for the youth. We advocate for integration of mental health education in schools and universities, we, we all, we, as well as establishment and community-based mental health institutions. As the ACU clique, we are calling upon the seventh administration to implement the following resolutions that are driven from the manifesto of the ANC and resolutions of the ACU clique. On the economy, advance industrialization for future industries while protecting existing ones. Invest in large-scale infrastructure, fix the energy and transport and logistics sector. Support small businesses and black industrialists. Accelerate land reform. On jobs, we urgently call for the creation of 2.5 million work opportunities through the Provincial Employment Stimulus Program to promote employment equity for black people, women and persons with disabilities on corruption, to strengthen law enforcement agencies and put up anti-corruption bodies, establish a permanent investigation directorate with an expanded power, enhance accountability through audit, vetting and public awareness campaigns against corruption, on education, ensure universal access to quality early childhood development by 2030. Promote a culture of reading, numeracy, and technology skills. Expand skill development in emerging fields and improve post-education and vocational training and digital learning opportunities. On crime, implement the Integrated Violence Crime Prevention Strategy. Modernize policing with more frontline officers and strengthen community policing forums. Combat cyber, cyber crimes, trafficking, and organize crime with, and organize crime specialized units and data driven strategies in conclusion the ACU clique remains committed to advocating for the rights and interests of the youth to ensure that the voice the voice are heard to make sure that we hold those who have deployed accountable and to continue to be the voice of the voiceless thank you